and we want it to go a little further out like that. We want a little more definition, so we'll just ring it and do like that. Yeah. So O W and we're changing this just just a little. Just main looking cool. Okay, so now we got the basic shape and we want to make some copies. How many do we want? Um, it's not the biggest, so we probably want 25, so 24 copies. Well, that actually look like it's getting um, so let's making it 15 instead so 14 copies let's try that out attach all the other boxes uh, except for box 1 and 2 so these attach them so now these are um, one model or one object and can be um, separated by elements in, um, in the uh, object level so here we want to use the bent modifier 360 degrees and oops we have chosen that one and it's still the X and it's probably also still the negative 19 yes 90 degrees on it so now we have that basic shape let's choose um, we are going to cut the whole layers, we are going to make that ch twist right now. Collapse. So, get the twist. And say, what do we want? Yeah, we need to make the pivot point right first. Center to object and then go in and delete the twist and add a new one and how much do you want yeah that's nice 80 collapse it So now we have it's still all elements each other. So oops, I did I must have done something wrong here. Control A, we're just gonna um, make them one element first then. So, so that's enough. Say OK. So now they should all be one element. Yes, let's see if they are also. Yes, it's closed up here. And that makes it closed down there too. 
and let's see if it gets better and we set this up right now yeah it looks much better so go to the uh, modifier menu again and choose the twist and it wants 80 and that looks nice just collapse it and now you see why we needed those or maybe you don't I can just show you here if we didn't have these it would be concave here so we need those okay now we're just gonna cap the ends cap cap and choose these Insert them. Let's see how big that hole is. It's fairly big. And then bridge them. Then we maybe want to do the same here by chambering those. Say okay. And then we have three of these. So now we have these three and I will just quickly set up a scene with very simple materials, it's nothing fancy or anything just to show show these and this is much much too lighted yes so we would like to put the multiplier down here and we would probably also set the multiplier down here and also a little here That's a bit more fair. And then we're just going to add shadow maps on all of them. Like that. And then put very similar materials on. Uh, actually, like that. And then it needs to be a little more specular. And like, I don't know. Something like that. This is very jagged, so we'll just add the smooth modifier here, all the smooth, and collapse. And 
That's much better. So this is working and you could actually make an animation now and render it with a fair scene. Not that good but but it's fine. You were watching a tutorial on 3dparadise.com.